Hey everyone, so a few of you have been waiting for this announcement. I am going to be in a film. Um, the film is called Nomadland and it's based on the book by Jessica Bruder, uh, which is about the nomad lifestyle in the US. Um, I've read the book and have um, found that it depicts the modern day nomadic lifestyle very well. Uh, Jessica did a great job on it. I'd love to be able to hold the book up for you, but I did have a copy and it was given to me by another nomad who made me promise to pass it on and make it a traveling book. Um, so I passed my copy on to somebody else who was beginning the nomadic lifestyle. And I hope that they have read it and passed it on. That was the intention. Um, so if I had a book, I would hold it up. Uh, but I don't. And if I'd have had a book, I would have got everybody to sign it while it was on the set during the making um, of this film. I'm going to read you a little bit about the book Nomadland. Surviving America in the 21st Century From the beet fields of North Dakota to the National Forest Campgrounds of California to Amazon's Camper Force program in Texas, employers have discovered a new low-cost labor pool made up largely of transient older Americans. Finding that Social Security comes up short often underwater on mortgages, these invisible casualties of the Great Recession have taken to the road by the tens of thousands in late model RVs, travel trailers and vans, forming a growing community of nomads, migrant laborers who call themselves work campers. And the book is about um, actually some of my friends, people I know, and the lifestyle in general. Of course, um, not one cover fits all stories, so um, it varies. Mine, my lifestyle doesn't quite fit in with what's in the book here, but uh, that doesn't matter. This is still a true account of um, the lifestyle that so many people have been forced into um, in this modern day. It's a great read. I really recommend it. And Jessica herself is just such a fun and wonderful person. So I can tell you a little bit about this, but I have to be careful what I say. Um, We've been told that we can't share um, any of the plot, we can't share any of the pictures from the set or anything like this. But what I can share is what has already been announced um, to the world. Um, so the movie is directed by Chloe Zhao, who recently made her most recent splash with the movie The Rider. Uh, it's, I haven't actually watched the movie myself yet, um, but I hear it's a phenomenal movie and after having met Chloe, I'm sure it is, <laughs> no doubt in my mind. Um, the main star in the movie is two-time Oscar-winning actress Frances McDormand. Um, she most recently did the um, movie Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, for which she won her Oscar, her second Oscar. Um, and I highly recommend that movie too. Um, the supporting actor is uh, David Strathan. And there are also some non-professional actors like uh, Linda May and Charlene Swanky, both of whom are friends of mine. And then, of course, there are all those nomads who were just being ourselves, basically. So, our roles were filmed in January in Arizona, 
and it was absolutely fascinating because I got to live in Studley Van, actually on the set of a film, and I can't share any of it. It's so hard. Uh, I can't share any of my experiences. I think it's safe for me to say that uh, Francis and David were both really nice people, that everybody who we worked with, Chloe and all the staff, all the, they were all just really wonderful. I think I can, it's safe for me to say that much. So when I, um, when I heard about this and I got invited to be part of um, to be an extra in the, in the film. Um, I was at first intrigued and nervous, and then I heard that I would actually get paid. <laughs> and that was the clincher for me. So I, um, I decided to join. I thought it would be a lot of fun, um, and it really was. It was very interesting to see how they make a film like this, or at least the small portion of it that I was in. Um, so I got paid to be an extra and then um, there was the chance of getting a um, more significant role in it and if that happened um, then you'd get an upgrade in the pay and that did happen to me. I got paid uh, quite a bit more for one day when I got a special role. Um, I was so nervous during that, I actually am not 100% sure what I said. So when the film does come out, I'm actually going to be really nervous because um, I think I blabbered a little bit, but Chloe seemed happy with it. <laughs> and then I'm in a few other spots in it. so. No big movie star here or anything like that, just an extra with one small role, and um, but it was a lot of fun. I'm really glad I did it. And so I can't share much more, uh, but I can show you uh, what has already been announced. I'm going to uh, record a little bit of that um, from my computer. And here is the press release. Um, anything that's in here I can share, but I can't share anything else yet. We've not had permission to share any more than this. And what's the information that's in here? So it says, uh, Fox Searchlight Pictures has acquired worldwide rights to writer, director Chloe Zhao's road drama Nomadland, starring Frances McDormand. The film follows McDormand's Oscar-winning role in Searchlights, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Davy Strathan, Linda May, and Charlin Swanky also star. Nomadland is a Highwayman Films, Here Say Productions, and Corcordium Productions project. The film is produced by McDormand, Peter Spears, Molly Asher, Dan... Janvi and Zhao, Chloe Zhao. The movie follows a woman in her 60s who, after losing everything in the Great Recession, embarks on a journey through the American West, living as a van-dwelling modern-day nomad. Production has been completed. As I fell in love with the American West, it was impossible not to become fascinated with the roads that lead to the many adventures beyond the horizon, Zhao said. I'm very fortunate to be able to hit the road with a talented team and collaborate with a cast of professional and non-professional actors who are deeply giving and inspiring. I can't wait to share their stories and what we've discovered along the way. Zhao also used non-professional actors in her indie Western drama, The Rider. The National Society of Film Critics named The Rider the best film of 2018 last month. So, there you have it. Um, I can't really share any more, uh, but I will keep you posted as things progress and when the movie has a date to come out um, or any more releases or anything, I'll try to keep you up to date. Uh, I'm nervous. I have no idea 
where I, you know, how much they recorded me as an extra. It's going to be as much fun for me as it is for you. And uh, I probably won't have any nails left. I'll probably bite them all off <laughs> when I hear that the movie's ready to come out. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you down the road.